Okay, guys, it's me, William. We're going to talk about one of the all-time greats, um, Star Wars Return of the Jedi. Now, this is the third of the original trilogy, directed by Richard Marquand, and what a excellent film this is. It actually won an Academy Award for Best Sound Mixing and Sound. Uh, also, I believe, uh, won an Academy Award for Cinematic Achievement. Uh, back in 1984, I believe. Now, basically, this is the series that rounds everything out before we had the release of The Force Awakens, where Anakin Skywalker is convinced to come back from the dark side of the Force, uh, inspired by the love of his son. It's the culmination of all six movies, and it just really, really is just like awe-inspiring as far as uh, the scope, uh, usually I kind of dislike the original trilogy a little bit because of the small scale, but the scale is uh, pretty decent in uh, this film. And also, there, there's just a lot of great final revelations as far as, uh, you know, Luke finding out that Leia is, in fact, his sister from the Force spirit of Obi-Wan Kenobi. Um, you know... We see his father's final redemption in the end. Um, you know, Anakin made whole uh, in becoming one with the Force, uh, becoming uh, the person that finally does snuff out the Sith for all time, or at least we hope. You know, um, it's just a wonderful film. Um, Mark Hamill, uh, not the best actor, but he, even he shines in this one. Uh, the Emperor, you know, the Emperor is always just like a great character. Even McDermott just does a great job uh, with his fiendish tackling and, you know, his, his dubious plots. Uh, very interesting character, to say the least. Uh, this was my number one film for a long time. Um, until recently, uh, you could go back maybe a year and a half, and uh, I still had this one at the time as my number one film. It is still up there at my third choice, and, you know, it doesn't get much better than Return of the Jedi for me. Uh, Leia and the metal bikini is, a, you know, an added bonus. I, I won't be deceptive about that. I am a heterosexual male. I... I love Carrie Fisher, old school, and that old metal bikini. Uh, not something I might want to see as much now, to be honest. But that's okay. You know, we all age and our bodies change, whatever. Uh, just the lightsaber duels in this film are spectacular. You know, uh, it's close we see as to as far as like polished lightsaber uh fighting because Luke in this one is at the end of his Jedi training and this is like his final trial to become a full-fledged Jedi Knight you know the reform the forms are so refined Vader's like using form 5 pretty much and so is Luke uh, who at this point has uh, perfected his lightsaber technique it's not as clumsy as it was in Empire Strikes Back or you know, non as non-existent as it was in uh, A New Hope. Uh, it's one of my all-time favorite films. This one, you know, always a delight to sit back and see. I love the design of the ships, the TIE fighters, um, the Superstar Destroyers, the Imperial 1 and 2 class Star Destroyers are also a delight. But you had the Rebel ships as well, like Home 1, which is well-designed, the uh, B-Wings, the T-65B X-Wings, the Y-Wings that are, in fact, relics from the Clone War, so that's, you know, prequel era stuff, uh, still flying around in this galaxy far, far away uh, at this point, and it's, it just all works. The Battle of Endor, you, you really do feel the stakes and everything that's uh, about to happen, you know, it's do or die for both the Empire and for the uh, Alliance to restore the Republic at this point. And, and you feel that in the battle. I mean, it's just a great build up. So 
uh, guys, that's my ramblings, so, you know, whatever you think about it, let me know.